Hey guys, my name's Tom. I'm a product marketing specialist here at GetResponse. And in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can automatically upsell and cross-sell your customers during the purchasing process so that you can increase your revenue really quickly, automatically, in fact. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna head over to our conversion funnel, because that's what we're gonna be focusing on today. So you just go to your menu bar, you go over to conversion funnels, and you'll see on my screen that I have quite a few that are already pre-created for things like this tutorial, but also for some of the campaigns that we've got running. I'll jump back to this very, very shortly. But the next thing you want to do is click on create a funnel up here. And in today's tutorial, we're going to focus on the quick sell funnel because this is the quickest way to upsell and to get this process going. But there, are, there is a full sell funnel and there are a number of other funnels that I would highly recommend having a look at. Now, this is where you would click. You would click on create. I'm actually going to go back just very quickly and show you one that I pre-created just to save a bit of time. But what we'll do is we'll just click here. We can see that and you can see that I've already pre-created the first sales page for my sales funnel. So half of it's already done for me already, but you'll need to create a sales page and you'll also need to link a payment processor. This whole thing is automatic. It's super simple. We'll guide you through every single step. And this is the quickest way to be able to set up a store and start selling your products right in GetResponse. You don't need to have a website to do this. You can create a landing page within your GetResponse account and you can start selling using one of the number of payment processes that we have. So the next step in the funnel, what I really like about this funnel is that it's very visual. It guides you through the steps. It shows you all the opportunities that you can have to sell to your customers and upsell them. But the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create an upsell page for the tutorial. So I'll click on that right there and you'll be able to see that we have a number of templates already ready for you. This is so that we can speed up the process a little bit and also so you can see best practices. When I jump into the template, you'll be able to see that you can adapt this in any way that you want to. But I'm going to show you this Black Friday sale funnel today. And I just call this BF Upsell. Click onto our next step, you'll see how simple this process is to start selling more products during the sale process for your customers. So we're gonna select a product right here. Today we're gonna to go with butter cookies, because why not? We'll add that to the page. You can add all of those if you really want to. You can recommend all the products, but sometimes it's nice to just start with one product to make it very clear that, hey, you bought this product and now I want you to look at this product and buy this one. I'd also recommend here having a countdown timer just to increase that sense of urgency during the process. And you'll find that by adding the countdown timer, you'll increase your revenue exponentially in a really quick and automatic way. So you can see here, it's all set up as normal with any of our landing pages. You can change any of these elements. You can add a number of elements in. You can customize this to fit your business or to fit your brand identity. And you can also add an option in here that just says, no thanks, I don't want to buy this amazing deal. It doesn't lock the customer in, but it just shows them, yeah, you know, this is another product that I highly recommend. The next thing we want to do is we just want to make sure it's mobile optimized. So it's quick just clicking up here and then going to, okay, let go mobile. And because it's a template, it's already set up, it's already perfect. You may need to just move a few things around to make it work for mobile. And I'd highly recommend doing this because about 50% of your customers are likely to buy your products whilst they're on their phone or on their mobile device. So the next thing we'll do is we'll click next step. And we're going to be taken to the settings where we can adapt any of our SEO settings. You can decide whether you want it to be on search engine. Some people don't. That might be because you just want to have this as a very specific campaign for a very specific group of customers that you have. But you can choose to do that. I'm going to leave that as it is today. You can add description. This will help it be ranked, that sort of thing. Uh, and you can adapt that to uh, your business needs as you want. And then, as always, to any landing page and get response, you can add a number of analytics or integrations that we have. Things like Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager, that sort of thing. I'm going to go on and click publish and what you'll see here is that's automatically been added to your funnel so you can see how the customers are going to go through your sale process already and then once you've done that you'll want to add a confirmation page that just says you know thank you and this is the order that confirmed so just add one of those very quickly once again I'm just going to do this template the Black Friday sale funnel you can see a number of templates ready for you we'll just do Black Friday thank you Click on next step. Very similar process to the last one. It's just letting your customers know that you've confirmed that you picked up their order and that's it. And then you'll see the exact product that your customers have bought. So it's very clever, it's dynamic. You don't have to do much work here. You can adapt this as you said. You can add a CTA in here to say, hey, you wanna get in touch with me about your order and that sort of thing. Once again, we wanna make sure that we've got the mobile version. You can see that it's all working fine then. We'll go on to the next step and we'll follow the same sort of pattern that we showed before. So you can adapt all the settings here. But similarly, again, 
just going to hit publish and go through the process for the sake of the tutorial. Perfect. And what we've got here is a pop-up inviting me to add Facebook ad to our sales funnel. This is a way to generate more leads to direct more traffic to your sales funnel page. So you can see this is an all-in-one solution for your products and for your sale to increase your revenue. Super simple. If you haven't set up a Facebook ad, I'd highly recommend doing that. Super simple using our creator. You can post on Facebook, you can post on Instagram. And if you have no experience creating adverts, that's fine. You can download our social ad creator app where we'll guide you through a number of templates and best practices on how to set up a Facebook advert to generate more leads for your business. I'm going to click close on this because I don't want one today. But highly recommend taking a look at that. And what you can see here is we've got the whole sales process all visualized in one funnel. And when you do start to earn customers and earn money from their products and from the recommendations and the upsells, you'll be able to see how many page views, how many contacts is generated for you because you can generate contact through your subscription and form methods, how many customers are generated in and how many successes we have. And of course, you can see how much money you've made and the return on investment that you've made during your sales process. So that's literally it. It's a super simple way to upsell and to sell your products to your customers. I highly recommend getting one set up for yourself now. And that's it. Good luck, guys.